today, let's take a listen to what overloading an audio transformer sounds like. And also, let's look into whether or not it makes a difference to use a mic level or line level transformer for low level signals. Now for high level signals, exceeding the specifications of a mic level transformer, you're going to go into saturation, you're going to hear overload, and that's what we're going to listen to. For low level signals, like mic level, a line level transformer should work at both mic level and line level, whereas a mic level transformer only works at mic level. But if you're operating a mic level, do you want to use a mic level transformer or can you use a line level transformer? Is a line level transformer able to do the entire scope of low to high level? And a mic level is only able to do just the low level stuff? Or are they segmented? Does mic level want to do the lows? And if you got higher levels, you go to a line level and you wouldn't want to use a line level for lower levels. All right, we'll take a look at that and uh, see if we can derive any information that's useful. So I started doing this test and trying to overload these transformer boxes, the line level and mic level boxes. And I was using the, a mixing console, the X32, and I was using some little um, analog boards that have even more output. And I was battling against the consoles themselves clipping and it was hard to tell whether it was the transformer or the console it was kind of very borderline i couldn't just really push into this saturation and overload to where it was just like way too much and i thought what could i do to get just loads and loads of output levels where i could just beat the shit out of these things and i really thought about the video I did on running amps bridge mono and how they're like balanced line drivers. Well, this lab group in FP6400 or L Acoustics LA48A amplifier, I'm running bridge mono into an XLR output. So pin two is plus one channel and pin three is minus or out of polarity, the other channel balance line out of the amplifier and I've got voltage for days. So I can really uh, light these things up. Let's see what else do I got to set up. So it's coming out of the music player or out of the um, pulse generator and um, into the amplifier. Out of the amplifier, it's going into a Y cable and one side of the Y cable goes into this um, Sound Tools mic switcher, which allows me to switch between various inputs. And the other side will go to the transformer we're going to test. Out of the transformer, it also goes into the switcher. And um, we're able to switch between the two. The output of the switcher is going into this adapter here. Now I've hollowed out this Shure um, attenuator, actually put it on the back of the amp and smoke came out of it, burned it up, opened it up and modified it and made a line level to mic level adapter out of it that can handle the output juice of this amp. And so now we're coming out mic level and we go into this recorder that you'll be able to hear and I can listen to on headphones. Um, so, we're starting off line level, going to amplifier level, into the transformer, out of the transformer, dropping back down to mic level and into this recorder. The reason I'm doing that, we will be able to also use this setup to test line level transformers versus mic level transformers um, after this uh, attenuator unit. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a shot. So I will turn on the pulse generator and let's turn that down a little bit. And this is the Radio JS3 mic level transformer. And let's go ahead and give that a listen.
All right, I'm sure you can hear that even on a phone if you're watching the video. And we can hear that the low end is rolling off on the um, unit here, driven at line level output of the amp. Now you should be able to see that amplifier is probably driven pretty hard. I and mean, we're seeing minus 10 on the amplifier. So it's running some juice into this thing. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with a line level transformer. Okay, direct signal. Line level transformer. Now we are hitting this thing really hard and I can hear that distorting somewhat. Let's turn it down. And we're pretty close. I mean, these are very hot signals that I'm running into this um, unit here. Let's see what happens with um, another transformer and then we'll do music. Let's use this little Rapco, tiny little guy. Now this is important stuff. If you're using, if you just throw in the transformer in line and you're, because you have a hum and buzz and you put a mic level transformer on the output of a console or on a line level thing, something like this. That's direct. And we can turn that up. All right, pretty big difference there. Let's go ahead and do some music. Uh, we'll stay with this right now. And let me mute it, put it here. Thank you, Rhea Rosa Band, for letting me use your music. Um, very, very cool. Let's go ahead. Okay, this is direct. beating it up but this is the this is what a transformer overload sounds like now there are a lot of um, aficionados that like the sound of transformer saturation and they're talking about much lower levels this is really kind of the cartoon level of saturating also when we're listening to the direct signal we are listening after the amplifier both times so we're always listening to after the amp and before the transformer and then after the amp and after the transformer. So let's do this. Direct. Transformer. Pretty close, it's harder to hear there. Let's go ahead and saturate it. to saturate even driving this amp I'm hitting this thing at minus 10 loads of power I mean this would be tearing our heads off if we were plugged into speakers here yeah let's go ahead and try that with the mic splitter the JS3 and we'll turn that down Cool. 
All right. So next, let's take a look at mic level. We're going to take this line level to mic level attenuator that I made, and we're going to put it right on the output of the amplifier. So the amp, we're going to take that, boost the signal way up and drop it way down, just because we have our set, test set up already here. And we'll take come out of that into the mic level splitter. And take the line level splitter, and let's put that on the A output. So now what we'll be able to do is switch between a mic level signal run into a line level transformer and a mic level transformer and see if we can hear the difference or to see if there's any impact. What does it matter if we use a line level transformer on mic level signal? We know we've already shown that using a mic level transformer on line level signal causes distortion, but what about the reverse? Out of the switcher into the recorder. And let's go ahead and sh give this a shot. So this is A, which is the twin ISO. And I'll move this over. So this one here is the mic level, line level. So we're on this one. Okay, uh, let's try some music with that. So that does not definitively show that um, they're exactly the same, but it does show that we're not hearing a major difference using a line level transformer for a mic level signal. And if you think about it, if a line level transformer is not capable of dealing with mic level signals, that would mean that if you turned your line level way down, super quiet, it would sound bad. If it doesn't sound good on the line level turned down, that would be a problem. So let's say we have mic level from here to here, and then line level from here to here, and in between we've got like instrument level, mic level, instrument level, line level. And a line level transformer has to be able to do the entire gamut. A mic level would only do this middle part and an instrument level would do this, you know, go up higher. So the big difference between mic level and tr line level transformers, I mean, they can be built and wound and coiled and, and to different impedances and different wire gauges. Line level transformers tend to be bigger and heavier, and they've got more to them in order to deal with these larger signals which makes them more expensive. Mic level transformers can be smaller, lighter, and less expensive for the same fidelity, but they don't have the headroom. If you want the headroom, you gotta make them bigger, heavier, and more expensive. Using a line level transformer for everything gives you the best of all worlds except your wallet. Um, you can get the similar design of the mic level transformer in a line level version. And uh, we know a major sound company that's friends of ours that actually did that. They converted all of their splitters. They used to have mic level splitters for the um, 
input splits, and then line level splits for the output splits to drive all the various trucks because they did a lot of TV stuff. And rather than have two different sets of splitting systems with different levels, they switched all their stuff over to line level. So no matter what you wanted to do, you could use the same splitter system. Um, cost more money, but it's going to be more useful. All right. Cool, cool. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed that. I've done uh, three other Transformer videos you might want to check out. And um, let me know in comments of things you're curious about. Cool.